Good morning. Always give an honor to God. I would like to thank everyone for joining us uh, this morning. I would like to recognize some of our dignitaries that are with us uh, this morning as well. We have uh, members of the Franklin City Council that are with us, uh, Mayor Pro Tem Levine, Councilman Joe Garrison, and Councilman Jamie Robinson. We're so thankful they are here with us uh, this morning as well. We also have our esteemed uh, state rep, Vinnie St. Blanc, who's always on our side with a number of things, and also uh, state senate elect, Robert Island III. Uh, thank you for being here this morning as well. Also, we have Mr. Ray Scriber, Executive Director of Louisiana Main Street, Ms. Amanda Lanata, Assistant Director of Louisiana Main Street. Thank you, Amanda, for being here. Also, Caroline Byrne, Assistant Director of Atafla National Heritage Area State of Louisiana. That's Caroline standing over there. Thank you for being here. Also, Ms. Carrie Sansbury, Executive Director of Cajun Coast, Ms. Beth Shasson, President of the Tamar County. She's right here. And also we have members of the Main Street Board of Directors and as well as uh, some of the members of the uh, Franklin Design Committee that are here as well. The city of Franklin is currently experiencing a robust revitalization movement propelled by the collaborative efforts of many individuals and dedicated a dedicated army of volunteers throughout our picturesque city. In 2018, one of the initial initiatives undertaken by my administration was, was the initiative of Shop Local First, Eat Local, Play Local First, Fuel Local First. That was one of my mantras. The aim was to educate our community on the significance of supporting local businesses throughout Franklin and local businesses then resorting to online out-of-town purchases. In a collaborative way, my administration embarked on self-promoting Franklin as a tourism destination through various channels, including social media, tourism publications, and partnerships with traditional media outlets, both locally and across Louisiana. As many of you may be aware, the city of Franklin was among the first four certified Main Street programs in 1984 under the Louisiana Main Street program, which was started by the former Jones administration. Subsequently, in 2019, the Franklin Main Street achieved national accreditation with the Main Street USA organization joining a select group of 1,200 accredited Main Streets nationwide. As we approach the milestone of celebrating 40 years as a Louisiana Main Street in 2024, we will begin actively planning an event to commemorate our achievements and shape the future of our program. In light of these accomplishments, our ongoing revitalization movement, I have appointed the City of Franklin's Economic Vitality Committee. This committee, operating as a subsidiary of the City of Franklin Main Street program, will work in conjunction with our Main Street Director, Mr. Ed Tiger Burden, and the Main Street Board of Directors. As we approach our 40th anniversary, their role as valued ambassadors and vocal partners for our city, both from residents and visitors, is I consistently say that I cannot do this alone. It takes the energy of the community to help revitalize each and every part of this city. As our economic vitality ambassadors help us to continue to promote the South Local, Eat Local, Play Local, Fuel Local First initiative, my administration has partnered with Ms. Karis Hansberry and the Cajun First Tourism to unveil our efforts to continue to support our local businesses and tourism into the digital age. With that, 
I'll ask Ms. Kara Stansberry to help me unveil the new QR, QR code that will be attached to our sidewalks throughout our beautiful city. And again, I would like to uh, thank everyone for taking the time to be with us uh, today. Remember, I call the South Local, Fuel Local, Eat Local first to help continue the revitalization movement in Franklin and continue to help the city promote the mass dollars that are needed for more infrastructure and quality of life projects that, that, that we see throughout our city. Thank you and have a Merry Christmas. So at this time, we'll unveil the uh, QR code that we're very excited about and Tiger will give a demonstration on the QR code. But at this time, we'll unveil the uh, QR code of five, four, three, two, one. There we go. That's the QR code. And I think from the bottom of my heart, I thank all of you all for being here because, because we can't do this alone. We have MAPS dollars that we're using for Casey Street. We have MAPS dollars for the $2.4 million project. water infrastructure process so that we need those mass dollars to do that and when we have earmarked funding to do certain things we can only do that with those earmarked dollars we have uh, major renovation going on with our uh, parks the brand new playground equipment someone said well they can use that for water issues but that's misappropriation of dollars and we're not going to do that we have to do and utilize those funds for what they intended to intended purpose of doing and we've just undergone our fourth clean audit so we just continue to press forward and push forward we can only eat the elephant one bite at a time so i thank god for the business community and, and you all's expertise because I, I i rely upon you all with a lot of things so thank god and thank you all Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So I, I had to actually take uh, Mr. Ray Scriber's uh, uh, cell phone because my cell phone's out there. So uh, thank you, Ray. Uh, so our citizens can, and our tourists alike can see, they will see QR codes all over the city. Uh, when you scan it, it will give you a digital map. And I, I wanna thank Carrie Stansberry, Executive Director of the Cajun Coast. We worked on this project for about six months. Uh, we've redone the map. It includes the entire city and it includes all of the eating establishments, all of the shops, all of the good tourist attractions that we have here in Franklin. Not only is it on the map, it is also listed below. So you can go to that, you can uh, go ahead and scan your QR code as you're walking Main Street or by the forest or wherever you are, uh, by the test theater, I mean, you name it, you'll be able to scan it and you'll have the city of Franklin in the palm of your hand. Uh, I'd act, like to ask Mr. Race Driver to come up, Executive Director of Louisiana Main Street, just for a few words. <laughs> Thank you, Tiger. Thanks everyone for being here today. I appreciate the opportunity to be here with you. Uh, economic vitality is one of the four points of Main Street. Uh, Main Street is based on a four-point approach, and economic vitality is one of those most important points, and it supports the work of local businesses and the success of local businesses and it supports this exact effort uh, that uh, the mayor and Tiger have started working on and Carrie uh, has started working on with uh, Shop Local, Spend Your Money Local uh, and uh, you, you earn your money here so support the businesses that are here and support the uh, entrepreneurs that are in, in this city. So this is a great uh, opportunity, great way to support that. And I thank you all for taking this effort. We do celebrate the fact that Franklin is one of our first four Main Street communities and uh, has been a Main Street community for 40 years now. We'll be celebrating 40 years of Louisiana Main Street uh, right along with Franklin and uh, have a big celebration, for it, especially for our first four communities. So uh, we look forward to celebrating and having a good time here all throughout this year. So thank you very much. Yes, um, again, I would like to uh, briefly talk about the Economic Vitality Committee. We went out and spoke to a number of businesses throughout Franklin across the board with 
everyone so that they could work with us to be goodwill ambassadors, to help support and give us new ideas and things that we can do to promote our city and promote their businesses so that we can continue our economic revitalization. So I'm so thankful again for all of these great businesses throughout Franklin that have followed. Uh, brought into helping us push the city forward. I'm very, very humble this morning of the crowd that has turned out from the business community uh, across Franklin, across the board, where that everyone is a part of this team effort because we cannot do this alone. We need an entire community to patronize and utilize these businesses in the Franklin area for whatever needs you, you need so that those tax dollars can be turned back into the city so that we can continue to meet our matches that we have to meet when we have to do the 25% match. And it's very crucial, as uh, State Representative St. Blanc could tell you, and also uh, Senate-elect Island could tell you, eventually, if you don't have that 25% match in your offers, you cannot apply for these grants. So I'm so thankful, thankful that we've been able to meet the match Casey Street and our water sector grant because we had those, we had the 25% match for both of those two. But moving forward, we continue to look at different projects that we have to do, to do throughout Franklin. And we have to continue to plug it one bite at a time so that we could address this. Uh, we have some water lines uh, that, are, that are 150 years old in Franklin. We have an unprecedented drought that hit us over the summer. So we have the ground that shifts underneath causes the pipes to burst. Salt water intrusion, so we deal with a little bit of everything. Uh, so the good Lord continues to bless us and uh, we're going to be fine. We just want to leave everything uh, better than what we, uh, as, as we found it. So thank you and God bless.